Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm super excited. We're taking a look at an awesome, small, lightweight bunkhouse travel trailer. This is a Forest River ARPA 2021, model 193. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the R-Pod and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel, giving you three things we love and three things we don't love about every travel trailer, fifth wheel, and toy hauler. And again, today, we're taking a look at one of the most popular travel trailer brands, the R-Pod. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, Will. Hey, guys. How's it going? Good. We are back here in Ocala, Florida again. Yes, it is a lot better weather from yesterday's episode. That's right. So yeah, it's a, it's a gorgeous day out. We're in shorts and a t-shirt and enjoying the weather. Enjoying the weather and doing what we do. That's and that's right. making reviews. We sure do. Let's begin. Model is Forest River R-Pod 193. The actual tip to tip length of this travel trailer is 22 feet, 11 inches. The dry weight is 3,714 pounds. And well, the tongue weight? 435 pounds. Awesome, always remember, you wanna get weight distribution bars. Doesn't matter what your tow vehicle is. Right up here, well, we have a nice power tongue jack. A 20 pound propane tank goes right here. And your batteries go right there. This is the R-Pod, it is very nice, it's aerodynamic, it's rounded off. Frameless window right here. And it's one piece of fiberglass that goes all the way around. And then right here is a diamond plate rock bar. Coming down the side, we do have manual stabilizing jacks. A Little bit of storage right there, held up by a magnet. Okay, like the little frog with the uh, <laughs> honeybee action going on here. Um, pull out steps, you know how we feel about those a power awning with led lights and because this is a forest river art pod they are using the asdale which is a green based material it's a sidewall composite green based material and that will never delaminate on you very nice yeah right here is where you can hook up that uh tray to have some outside cooking prep space right there's a power outlet okay and then look at these tires will they're the radials i love the castle rocks ST 225-75 R15. And then it is a single axle trailer right there. Right here we have a spray port with a black tank flush. Very nice. And then coming around the side, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky right there. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And will, hang on a second. Yeah. I, uh, I lied, it's not one piece of fiberglass. Oh, okay. Let me see. Um, it does have the uh, TPO roof okay. with prep for solar up there. Sorry about that. Some of the uh, R pods have that one sheet right. of fiberglass. Finishing up, we do have a 30 amp power connection right there, cable and satellite. Nice um, right there, another jack. Very nice area to dump your black yes. and gray tank. Easy to get to. Then nice little bit of storage. It's actually pretty all right. Yeah, it is. Right here, we do have your water heater. Okay. Nice little slide out. <laughs> I love how it's not taking up too much of your right. stuff. You know? Finishing up. City water connections right there. Potable water fill. Potable. Potable. Then the other side of that nice storage. Well, Will, the outside of the travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. Check it out. All right, so up front we got a little couch, bed area, another couch here kitchen area bunks and the bathroom in the back we starting up front yes so look at this do you notice what i'm noticing double couch double couch no dinette yep. i like that no i don't like that i love that yeah right up here we're gonna start up here 
nice big tri cushion couch. You have your TV right here. It is on a swing arm, so you can angle it that way. You can angle it that way. You got power and USB on both sides, and then this bed jackknifes down. You pull out this spring right here. Just like that, Will, we're camping now. That's right. Very nice. Climb on up there, Will. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I see something that I don't like. What's Remind that? me about the bed when it comes time to uh, give our likes and dislikes. Okay. Okay. We're actually going to keep that down so I remember. Okay. Very nice windows around the bed, though. Nice radius. Nothing's going to bump your head or anything. Right over here, we do have pretty decent cabinetry right there above yeah. the sofa. Okay. Nice window right there. I actually even like the balances. Very nice. It's 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 easy to see why this is such a popular seller. Because it's a small unit, they're using these lighter colors that just really opens it up in here and makes it bright. Another, another one, another one, another sofa right here. Very nice. Got your cup holders and everything. And yeah. And that's a jackknife, right? This also jackknifes down to make yep. a bed. But a small bed. Yeah. Well, Will. That was fast. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, burr, burr. That's why I love these R-Pods. <laughs> MSRP on this R-Pod here is... <whistles> wow. Pretty cheap. No. Oh. <laughs> $29,931 MSRP. Sale price, Will. As you can see right there, we don't currently have a sale price. It's because it's still a 2021 unit, but Will, we told people last our pod video that we are now an our pod dealer and we want to blow these things out of the water and just sell a whole bunch of them so if you want to get the best price in america will tell everybody what to do they can call they can text they can email they can facetime hey 301-906-0962 or matt's rv reviews at gmail.com or the best thing to do is go to matt's rv reviews.com there you'll see three contact tabs if you're ready to buy this rv click tab number one if you're not ready to buy this rv please don't click tab number one only click it if you're ready to get the best price in america if you have questions about this rv perfect tab number two is for you that sends an email to both will and myself and we will be able to help you figure out which is the best rv for you or if you just have a generalized fan question click that third tab and will it doesn't matter if people are ready to buy today next week or next year what's the one thing that every person has in common they're gonna get the best price in america will let's continue the video all right all right so small small trailers of course small kitchen yes but you got some good storage up top here very nice nice gray stone range hood Ooh, hood range um nice window here too to let in some good natural light and a little faucet you got a uh, round sink there. I kind of like the color though. Black I do too, chrome. yeah. It, it contrasts with the countertop very right. well. Right. Nice suburban cooktop. Okay. And a little bit of storage here. All right. And a convection microwave, I think, here. Yeah. Yes, yes. Convection microwave there. Sweet. With a brochure inside. That's right. And then look at this, Will. There's actually a dog oh, bowl wow. right there. That's nice. pretty cool. I didn't see that. Yeah. And a uh, nice Dometic two-way fridge and freezer. That runs off both propane and electric. That's right. A little bit of pantry space here. Yes, sir. And there's a little bit of pantry space right oh, yeah. there. Or you can use that for storage for the bunk beds behind you. Got a couple little pull-out drawers. Yep. Non-ducted AC unit. It's all right. right here. But again, it's just an open box. That's right. Ready for the tall test? Well, no. We were going to check out the bunks. Oh, but okay. no, 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 no. You're okay. rushing things. So it's okay. Well, hey, well, you're the boss. <laughs> All That's right. not bad. It's actually not. I did not expect that. I, don't, uh, I can't pass it. No, but what? I thought it would have failed miserably. Yeah, and there's like a little sink thing in here, I guess. A what? Wash your hands. I love that. I will tell everybody why I love that in a okay. second. Right here's your pantry area. And then it's now time for the toilet test. It's gonna be plastic, isn't I it? I can't believe it because you have ample storage in here. Yeah. Yeah, plastic. Womp womp. Wow. Okay. Also, what Will forgot to mention is there is a centralized vacuum with a kick plate there. 
bunk bed, single over single. You have USB and lights there also. Each bunk bed does have its own window. There was storage on this last bunk bed from the outside. Right. And then actually a pretty long bunk bed. Yeah. Pretty nice. Well, Will, that's it. Short and sweet. That's what the R-Pods are. Nice. Now, before everybody leaves, it's now time we give you three things we love about the R-Pod and three things we dislike about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we dislike? Didn't we do... Yeah. We did. Look. No, no, no. Let's do dislikes. Okay. Okay. Um, so first, okay, mm -hmm. you ready for this? Yep. Oh, I'm sorry. Why did I take the camera? I don't know. So, this none none of this part is being supported. Yes, it is. No, no, no. That yeah, that little part. None of oh, the, in the center middle. part. And that's yep. where your mass is. <laughs> that's where my mass is as well. And so when Will was on it, it was bowing, right? Right. Over time, that's gonna warp. It's gonna break. I know it is. I don't like that. And especially it's, if it's two people. Yep. You know. And then you know, big people. Like us, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that is one dislike. I have another dislike. You ready? Yep. I don't like that either. I. They're just flimsy. They're cheap. They're gonna slide around. They're never going to stay in, in place. I almost no. You know what? Yes. They're gone. I like this better. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes right. less is more. I don't need a freaking armrest. At the end of the day, it is an R pod. You know what I'm yep. saying? Um. So that's number two. What I don't like. And well, do you have a third? Yeah, kind of along the same lines, but I don't like how far this comes out. It like just makes it really hard to get into the bed. Yes. You know. Wow. I feel great like if point. I put weight on this, it was, it was yep. just gonna break. So not only are you gonna break the bed board, you're, you're gonna break, break the sofa as too. well. Yeah. Great. So that's it. Man, well, we are crushing this. Now that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Okay. Would you like to go first? I can. Go ahead. Okay. Although it's not perfect overall. Well, I might kind of steal yours. You're so. stealing mine, yeah. So I wasn't going to steal your sink, but okay. Well, no, no, no. Make it, make it the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just the bathroom overall. It's not a perfect shower, but it's nice and big, and yep. it's not a porcelain toilet, but it's in a good position. But the amount of space. Well, sit down there. Okay. I mean, look at this, y'all. Yeah, you don't get this in travel you trailers really like this. Yeah. I do wish it was porcelain, but yes. with how big and spacious the bathroom is. That's that's number one. Exactly. So, so continue there. Sit there. Sit here. Yep. So that's one. Number two, y'all. I love the fact that the sink's right here. Yes. Going on to what Will was saying. Okay. Don't put the sink right there, and then you have yes. no space. Exactly. Don't, that is the smart. I've never seen that. No, I that is either. so smart, and it gets me fired up. I love the fact that they did that. Okay. So that's two. Oh man, I had another dislike. Did you? They got away with it this time, though. Okay. They got lucky, our pod. So that's two things we like about it. Do you, oh, I have a third. Okay. I love the double sofas. Yes. We don't need dinettes. Look, there's your table right there. Right. You set up your table and eat. You know. Yep. I don't need a permanent dinette space. Most a, of the time, we eat outside, anyways. Exactly. Or you go to a restaurant, and yeah. when you are eating inside with that dinette, it's so tight to your stomach because right. you're in such a small trailer. I love the fact that they gave you double sofas. That's right. Let's stand outside, Will. Okay. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Short and sweet. I love it. If you guys have any questions about this R pod, please call, text, send us an email. It is Matt's RV Reviews at gmail.com or 301-906-0962. That's my personal cell number. But again, the best thing to do is just go to mattsrvreviews.com and fill out one of the three contact tabs. It doesn't matter where you are in America, we will always get you the best price. That's well, right. do you have anything you want to say? Of course, should we switch with the sun or is it okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Make sure to leave down in the comments below three things you like and three things you dislike. Um, also, Make sure to like the video and subscribe. And if you are in the market for a single axle bunkhouse trailer, yes. we will have videos show up right there. So That's make right. sure you check them out. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.